Wet mopping using the pedal ring bucket. Place safety floor signs in all pedestrian walkways. Attach the mop handle to an 18-inch frame. Place a clean, dry Q410 wet pad on the floor with the white backing side up. Hold the quick connect frame over the pad, then slide it down to attach the pad with the hook and loop system. Fill the bucket to the desired level with water and recommended volume of cleaning solution. Place the microfiber flat mop into the bucket and maneuver the bucket to the desired location by steering with the mop handle. A good tip is to start mopping at the far corner of a room and the end of a hall. Lift the mop from the bucket onto the sieve and align the handle in the center of the ringer plate. Step on the pedal of the dolly to depress the ringer plate. A built-in brake prevents the bucket from moving during the ringing process. Rotate the pad 180 degrees and ring from the other side to the desired wetness. Place the mop on the floor. Use overlapping figure eight strokes to clean. Progressively work backwards until the pad becomes too dry to mop. Dip the mop into the bucket and repeat the steps until the job is completed. Change the pad when it becomes too soiled to clean. When the job is complete, empty the bucket into a floor drain using the twist valve at the base of the back side. If a floor drain is not available, remove the bucket from the dolly by tilting it slightly to unlatch. Carry it to a sink, lift and pour the contents out using one of the front corners as a pouring spout. Rinse the pad with clean water. Remove the pad from the frame using one of two methods. Using the fabric loop on the pad, peel the pad away from the hook and loop fastening on the frame. Or, with one foot, step on the edge of the pad. With your other foot, step on the edge of the frame. Pull the frame up, and the frame will peel away from the hook and loop backing. Lift the pad by the fabric loop for laundry or drying. Or, pick up the soiled pad by turning the frame 90 degrees and touching the end of the frame on the center of the pad to lift it up. Since the pad now folds downward in half, it can easily be removed from the frame and dropped into a laundry bag.